Our president just said that Japan, India, and China are all struggling economically because they don't accept enough immigrants. Let's break it down. Oh, let's run the clip. President Joe Biden was at a campaign fundraiser in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday evening when he made some controversial remarks about some of America's allies. Uh, he was talking about the importance of immigrants to the United States. And then he said that some of the other countries around the world, such as India and Japan, uh, two key American partners, are, quote, xenophobic. And that holds them back from being able to access as much talent as they could from around the world. Uh, Boom. I mean, listen, I, I got to say this was a odd thing to say at an AAPI fundraiser for Asian History Month. Good old Joe Biden being the loose cannon, saying what he wants. Anyway, so this would happen at a private fundraiser event where he's trying to rally up the troops so that he can raise some more money. And he said this thing about a lot of people's, I guess, motherlands. Um on why they're struggling. And I guess there's a lot of debate on how true what he said is, right? Are a lot of those Asian countries too xenophobic? Let's define what that even means. And then also, is that the reason why they're struggling? Here's his exact quote. Think about it. Why is China stalling so bad economically? Why is Japan having trouble? Why is India? Because they're xenophobic. They don't want immigrants. So obviously he was trying to say something, I guess, in support of immigrants, but a lot of people were really questioning, Andrew, why he basically dissed even allies. Like he, he dissed China and Russia too, but I guess that would seem like more par for course, right? Due to the adversarial nature. But to diss India and Japan, a lot of people had their heads, it had a lot of people's, you know, scratching their heads. Right, and then Japan had a response. Yes, Japan said, uh, Biden's description of their nation as xenophobic is unfortunate. But they didn't deny it. Japan, you didn't deny it, though. You said it's unfortunate. Uh, all right, so we got to talk about it real quick, Andrew. Do you think Japan and India are xenophobic? I don't know. I'm not going to speak on India because I don't even know India that well. But, I mean, I don't know. India got so many people. I feel like they're not. Because, like, just countries that are that big. I think Japan has been, I don't know if I'd use the word, the X word, but I think that they have been, they've been kind of xenophobic. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, for in the past generations of being very like, no, we don't want immigrants. We will do it ourselves. And like, they, they kind of been running this big family ran business this whole time without hiring outside help. But I do think there's benefits and complications to immigration, of course. So I think Japan is pretty much known for being a very high buy-in society so that if you're non-Japanese and you want to be part of Japanese society, you have to like prove yourself time and time again. It is very hard. Oh, their citizenship test is really complicated and you have to be at least like six out of 10 fluent in Japanese, I believe. Yeah. And then like, even then it doesn't mean that everybody's going to accept you, but also, being an immigrant in America doesn't mean that everybody's going to accept you either. Yeah, by the way, I think the largest group in Japan is near 1%. It's just Chinese at like 0.6. Um, xenophobic is described as having or showing a dislike or prejudice against people from other countries. It is a fear of dislike or of anything that is perceived as foreign or strange. It is an expression based on the perception that conflict conflicts exist between a in-group and an out-group and may manifest itself in suspicions of the other group's activities. Mm, so it's kind of like this definition is saying like, well, if you think outsiders are kind of sus constantly, then you're, I mean, I would say a lot of people in America are xenophobic. Talk about Japan. I mean, I think a lot of people around the world are and people in the U.S. to an extent, a lot of people still are xenophobic. Right. Anyway, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said maybe there's a reason why Japan's crime rate is so low and they have some of the cleanest streets on earth, huh? And basically, I don't think there's really a connection because India is probably not as clean as Japan. And then he got, they got named by Biden too, where I'm like, it really has to do with culture. It is not to do with like, it doesn't have to do with like immigration, not having immigration. It's all about a country's culture, is it mm. not? Or like the way the civilization is run. Right. Um... Biden doesn't get to tell other nations what they can do. If they don't want illegals in their country, they have to. They have the right to refuse it. So obviously, this is getting into the whole thing. Andrew, when people think of the word immigrant, are they thinking illegal, undocumented, which is usually more uh, like lower income, or are they thinking like really hyper smart immigrants? Yeah, I mean, I think that in America right now in 2024, when people think about immigration, they're thinking about 
the migrant issue. They're thinking about you say pouring in over the southern border, right? Yeah, the undocumented immigrants that, in most people's opinion, needs to be limited because it's like causing issues. Of, of course, there's there's a lot of work to be done. They do a lot of farming and a lot of like the manual labor. To be honest, uh, that a lot of other Americans don't want to do. So there are some benefits, but it's causing a lot of complications right now isn't it all pros and cons literally like as a country you want to add like just like an nba team andrew they want to add uh positive impact players mm -hmm. if you add a bunch of negative impact players to your basketball team it will get worse right literally it's just a math equation i don't know why everybody's always trying to like moralize or immoralize immigration it's literally just math um Basically, this last person was defending Biden, Andrew. This information was presented out of context and in a very skewed format. What Biden was speaking about was that America's history is being founded by immigrants and by continuing to support that behavior will continue to succeed as a nation. That's pretty much what his spokesperson, John Kirby, tried to say as well. Mm. Ultimately, I'll tell you this, man. What, do you think what he said was that bad? Was it odd or was it just like classic Joe just... OD and on talking points like yeah yeah immigration's good America's good those other countries are all racist yeah. and that's why they're going down what he said wasn't that bad but for it to warrant a response from like the officials in Japan I think is funny but I mean what he said wasn't that bad it was just like everybody knows that good immigration would probably help all these countries like, let's just say Japan. You mean like, selective immigration. Yeah, selective immigration for Japan would probably help, to be honest. It probably would. At this point, a lot of people in Japan, they don't want to have kids. Uh, the cost of living in the cities is too high. Also, mentality-wise, from a lot of the younger Japanese, they just, they just, they just live in for themselves or live in, in their hobbies or they're hiring these, like, male and female hostesses or companionships <laughs> or whatever it is. Like... You're basically, saying they're living like Gudetama, basically. Yeah, basically they are having trouble, uh, not trouble reproducing in the physical sense, but they just are not interested in reproducing right now. So yeah. that's an issue for Japan. We thought we had actually peaked as a civilization and accomplished everything, but apparently Biden thinks it's just because of racism. And you know, I thought it was interesting that he lumped China, Russia, India, and Japan all into one bucket when all those countries are in incredibly different situations. Mm. Like literally the whole statement was illogical, but yes, it's true that like some of those countries are not, obviously they're not like new world countries that are based on immigration. They're right. like ancient places just belong to one group of people or a couple right. groups of people. Dave, you think Japan would rather dwindle and whittle away than to mix with new immigrants? Honestly, yes. I think that they would go out on their sword like throughout history, to be honest. I think that that's their mentality for the most part. If we cannot be fully Japanese, then we cannot be at all. Hey guys, I'll tell you this. America is still a country in flux, in a, an experiment in progress. There's gonna be good sides and bad sides to everything. I just don't believe in like, either side like just making these wild generalizations because of course everything is nuanced and it depends on your own individual exposure and you know maybe this that you know anyway guys let us know what you think of biden's remarks in the comment section below super strange to make these at an apa uh api fundraiser if you guys appreciate videos like this also hit that thanks button and support us thank you so much and until next time we out peace, peace.